Hi, Dan from DJ More Lofts, and today we're going to talk through what you need to be able to complete a loft conversion. So one of the most common questions is, can I have a loft conversion? Simply, most properties can, but you need some fundamentals to start with. So maximum head height to start with. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump inside, we're going to measure, and we're going to talk through exactly where to measure and the heights that you need. So come follow us and we'll show you what's what. So the fundamentals inside a loft for measuring is you need a minimum of 2.4 meters head height. So what I mean by that is you need to measure at the very top of the apex there where the point meets the felt. And then what you also need to do is measure between the plasterboard. So between that distance and the very top, you need a minimum of 2.4 meters head height to be able to convert a standard loft. If you've got more, that's great. That gives you a lot more options. So the space that we're set in at the moment, this is gonna be a Velux conversion because we've got a massive amount of head height. Sometimes if it's lower than that, then it forces your hand to have a dormer because that is the best way of maximizing and utilizing the space. Obviously you see here, this is a truss roof. There is a lot of confusion around that you cannot cut these out and they cannot be converted, but you can certainly structurally remove these. It's not as simple as just cutting out. You do have to rebuild the whole roof inside. You see here where we're starting to put some steels in and the team is starting the process of this. So fundamentally you can have a loft conversion as long as you've got 2.4 meters head height and a space for the stairs. So jumping over to this finished build now, you'll see here originally we had just over 2.4 meters head height and the finished result of that is now we've got over two meters just over two meters head height so now that is legal for the stairwell but more importantly it gives a usable space here the dead giveaway typically is if you look at the doors and how high they are to the top of the roof that's how you can then kind of get a point of how how much usable space there is there for that because on some of the higher lofts you'll see that there is a large section above the doorway but here because it was on the lower side we didn't have the luxury of to be able to do a really high v-lapse conversion so this forced our hand for a dormer and as you can see here having the dormer with the large flat roof gives it a lot more usable and beneficial space especially if you're looking to create a bedroom up here hopefully that makes sense if you have got any questions or any concerns with regards to can i have a loft conversion and the height please let us know in the comments don't forget to hit that bell button and subscribe and we'll see you again on the next video enjoy